McDonald's, we have the finger licking fresh. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Of all the fast food chains, McDonald's probably has the most unmistakable flavor profile across the board, but we were wondering, what if we disrupted that McFlavor McHarmony by tasting McDonald's menu items that have had other fast food chain ingredients clandestinely wedged within them? Mm, yeah, could we pinpoint the difference and might we even stumble upon a brand new, dare I say, improved fast food creation? Ooh. It's time for Fast Food Frankenstein McDonald's. Okay, so we'll taste McDonald's menu items that have had one or more ingredients swapped out and another fast food chain's ingredients Frankensteined in. Mm. And if we can identify which ingredient is different, we get a point. And if we can also name the restaurant that it's from, we get two points. And then we're gonna taste the OG McDonald's recipe and decide if we've made an improvement. The winner gets a Franken toy, which is a monstrosity of a toy made of multiple fast food restaurant kids' meal toys. Bring in Frankenstein's monsters. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so what better way to start than with a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle? This In is this one of round, my favorites. Only one item has been swapped out. Okay, now yeah. we, we both enjoy this sandwich. So yeah, we do. It seems like we should be able to, I'm gonna give it a little bite. Dink it first and sink it later. Mm-hmm, it's still good. Something's jumping out at me. I'm trying not to just look at it. The egg would be to the tough. Conclusions. I'm trying to think of the taste. That's a mm. good sandwich. Now, I love this country. Um, the things that we have to choose from, and we've got we've got these like we got these these cool magnets that we can throw on there. Um, are Burger King, KFC, Wendy's, In and Out, Dunkin' Donuts, Subway, Popeyes, and Jack in the Box. We can choose from any of those over the course of the whole. Episode. You got, so, you got a little McGriddle on your uh, McLipple. Did yeah, I get it? You got it. Okay. Okay. I, All right. I, 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 I have. Think, what, I think I know what it is. I, I think I've got I it. I think too. I tasted the thing that's different. Okay. I don't. I don't want you to know what I'm doing. All right. I got mine. All right. Three, two, one. Oh! oh look at us. We think we got Burger King sausage and on the this. The reason why I feel good about it is because one of my other, I'd say, top five breakfast sandwiches. Is, is Burger the, King. Is the croissant. Croissant with the, with, the, uh, with the sausage. Croissant witch. And I do think that's what it is. Tell us how right okay. we are, Stevie. This Frankenstein sausage egg and cheese McGriddle contains another fast food chain's sausage. Yep. But that sausage comes from Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, come on. Oh, really? That's a good sausage, Dunkin'. So let's fly in the actual McDonald's sausage, sausage egg and cheese so you guys can Compare yeah, the two, decide wanna, which sausage is better. I just wanna see if I can remember. Oh, the Sounds like also something that look you that. do in your private time, but go ahead. Mm. If you look at these sausages, Dunkin' sausage, McDonald's sausage. Dare I say it's better with Dunkin'? A little bit, yeah. Huh? The sausage is better. That's another thing it's we learned. It's bigger, it's juicier, juicier. <laughs> I can't even speak, I'm so excited. Yeah, so you can improve it. Hopefully they're right next to each other. Quick reminder, you can join the Mythical Society for our incredible April Quarterly Collectible, which is an exclusive stereoscopic viewer theme to 80s movies Link has never seen, which is yes. a lot of 80s movies. Yeah, uh, but this is my way of getting back in the clout. Right. You know, I get that, I get all the references, I get my clout back, and you can too. Yes, uh, and there's also an exclusive surprise. But what is it? Well, you're gonna have to be a third degree member for the quarter by signing up by January 31st. You can sign up at mythicalsociety.com. If you take it out of the box, you can see more. Yeah, it's even more fun out of the I box. I ain't gonna do that. All right, what we got, Stevie? Quarter pounder? For this burger round, you may have expected a Big Mac, but that would be way too easy for a couple of Big Mac aficionados such as yourself. Z <laughs> so here you have a quarter pounder with cheese and bacon and two of the ingredients have been swapped out. Two of the, I, I've never ordered a quarter pounder with bacon. I have not either and I'm kind of a, I, I mean, back when I was a burger man, <laughs> more than I am now, the quarter pounder was a popular choice for me. I'm trying to get an eye on these onions. You wouldn't just swap, swap out the onions. You wouldn't do that, would and that's you? That's an option. Everything's an option. First of all, this burger's been sitting a little bit and it is, 
Well, nasty. I think that they ordered the ingredients separate and then put them together in order to be able to do this. I'm not trying to get into like the behind the scenes here, mm. but because it's really hard to take apart McDonald's burgers, so they all kind of congeal into one thing. Uh, Does okay. KFC have sliced cheese? Man, I'm going out on a limb here. This is tough. And I, I couldn't have told you that there's two slices of cheese on a quarter pounder. I just, I'm just not a quarter pounder man. Could you have told us that? I don't keep up with details like that. I just eat, but. Okay. Okay. All right, I know what I'm doing. Me too. All right, here we go. So place your first one. I I think that. I think that's Subway bacon. I, I think it's, well, I'm guessing Jack in the Box bacon, and I think it's Burger King onions. And I think it's Wendy's pickles. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. But, no, aren't the, aren't the onions s s diced at McDonald's? Oh, you're right. Oh, too late, I've already guessed. This Franken quarter pounder with cheese and bacon contains another fast food chain's bacon and yes. another fast food chain's pickles. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Yeah. So the bacon is from the Wendy's Baconator. Oh, man. Oh, that's. And the thick, crunchy pickles are from Subway. Oh, man. Hey, listen, I got those two ingredients. I, that makes sense. All right. You're pulling ahead. I still impressed myself. This is the actual McDonald's ingredients Man, burger. It doesn't, it doesn't get any better than this. Yeah, I mean, so I'm gonna try it again with the bacon, the, their bacon, and see if it makes it better. I could've sworn the onions were diced, but they're not. McDonald's bacon is different. I'm not saying it's better, but I'm saying it's more McDonald's-y, so it... It complements McDonald's more. Mm-hmm. So this is not an improvement. All right, but hey, we're still having fun. We've reached the chicken round with yes. the OG <laughs> McDonald's buttermilk crispy chicken sandwich. This menu item has had two ingredients swapped out. Oh, it's got. Yes, it has. It's got tomatoes on it. I don't need to taste a mater from anywhere because I never taste them from everywhere. Look at that chicken. You think the chicken's been swapped out? You think this is that Popeye's chicken? It's not. This isn't easy. The chicken tastes burnt. But what does that mean? I'm just trying to figure out if they put the chicken from somewhere else. Man, okay, so mayonnaise isn't part of this, so I don't have to worry about that. Lettuce, seriously? You could do, I think they have fancy lettuce at McDonald's. You, you've seen the fancy lettuce? Yeah, they got like leafy lettuce on some stuff, I think. Man, is it that bun? Where the crap would that come okay, from? I, I've got I've got some answers here. Okay, all right, I'm ready. I'm gonna put you ready. Oh, I'm still eating. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna put my first one up here. I I'm I think the bun is from Jack in the Box. I think the bun is from Popeyes. Oh yeah. Well, I think the lettuce is from Popeyes because I think they're just messing with us. I think the tomatoes are from Jack in the Box. Are you just guessing? Because I am. Um, it's it's educated guessing. Okay. This Frankenstein buttermilk crispy chicken sandwich contains another fast food chain's crispy chicken. What? Oh, and that's... bun. Mm. The bun is from the famous Popeye's yep. chicken sandwich. I recognize that. And the crispy chicken is from Burger King. Oh, yep. that's Burger King chicken. So you... yeah, and here's the original McDonald's. Uh, oh dang it! Sandwich. I should have known. I can taste the Burger King in that chicken now. Yeah, you got to taste the Burger King in the chicken right it's, from the get-go. And it's not good. Oh, look at look at that McDonald's. I mean, what is this? McDonald's. It's all yeah. <laughs> everything's from McDonald's. I mean, look at that chicken. This is the McDonald's chicken here. Look it, how much bigger that chicken it's is. It's like a. I can get just a. I love when I get just a straight up chicken bite. I think that's a chef hat. That that Burger King chicken. That Burger King chicken is sad. It's it's we it's odd. It's odd. That Burger King chicken needs to be taken out back and put down. And now the saucy saucy final round, where you must try and identify the non McDonald's sauce using McDonald's French fries as your dipping tools. You're welcome. Laid before you are six so sauces. If you can name the non Mickey D's sauce, mm. you win three points. And if you can also guess what restaurant it's from, you win the entire game, which means none of this has mattered up until oh. now, and it's all on the line. You know what, I was kind of feeling like nothing was mattering <laughs> until now when I win. Hmm. Now that tangy barbecue is good. That ranch tastes odd to me. 
I think is Odd Ranch. But again, McDonald's stuff, it's not like, you, you, everything you taste at McDonald's, you only, you just think of it as its own McDonald's thing. You don't compare it with the rest of the outside world. First of all, we're both doing the same technique. We're not eating the fries, we're licking the fries. That's because we're divas. Now this right here, this, this pickle Thousand Island sauce. That's what they put on the Big Mac. That's the Big Mac sauce. So these aren't just dipping sauces, this is any sauce you can get your hands on. Or, they're screwing with us, and that's an imitation. Whoop. What the heck? I just put a fry in there. What is this, some sort of? I think that might be sweet and sour. What is that? Is that Szechuan? Szechuan? Is that Szechuan? You says what? Is that Szechuan talk? Um, Man, it's been a long time since I've run the nugget dip gamut. I've never licked so many fries. Woo, ooh. That's a good sauce right there. Well, I'm familiar with that sauce. It's like a hot wing sauce. And what's the distance over here? Can you dip nuggets in a hot wing sauce? But there's no hot wings at McDonald's. They had wings for a while. It was called like crazy wings. And this honey mustard, this honey mustard's got a lot of brown specks in it. Mighty Wings. Mighty Wings. See, I knew I was always wings. right. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'd like to have some of that at home for my wings. Um, so he, that's a really good sauce, and I do know where it's from. It, the honey mustard is also really good, but it, again, I just I just don't know if McDonald's has like the the brown specks nowadays because back in the day, honey mustard, the honey was mustard just uniform, yeah, totally homogenous. But I do think they changed. They've updated it. it, but I don't get honey mustard. I'm not a honey mustard man. I, at first, I thought that this I was the, the it, caramel just... sauce that you can dip apples in. It's not. But it ain't. Uh, okay, I have a guess and I don't feel good about it at all and I hate the fact that I brought a substantial lead into this and it doesn't matter. We're gonna do like a three, two, one on this one because I feel like the, the you know chances are high of, of some cheating. Okay. The, the ranch, the ranch is just. Oh, you're going back for the ranch. Re, oh, you're revisiting the ranch. That's weird. You guys okay. ready? Okay, I have a guess. Here don't. we go. In three, two, one. Oh, you think it's the Big Mac? Oh, I've totally forgot about In and Out. I think that's the animal, animal style. style fries. I think no. so. I think that's what it is. I think it is. I think it is. Okay. I don't know though. Starting on Rhett's side, you have McDonald's tangy barbecue sauce. Yep. Then. McDonald's, McDonald's creamy ranch. ranch. Well, shoot, then I've lost. McDonald's Big Mac sauce. Oh, dang it! Then McDonald's sweet and sour sauce, yeah. followed by McDonald's spicy buffalo and honey mustard from KFC. KFC, I've never KFC. had it. KFC. I never had it. That is the best sauce for dipping at uh, McDonald's is this buffalo. I love it on the nuggets. Yeah, that's Put that on your stuff, nugs. man. So we both got it wrong, which means that my lead does matter. You get the Franken toy. matter. Woo, bring in that Franken toy. Bring it out. Hey guys. You've been through the ringer. Oh yeah. What what are you the, what's your name? Uh, Franken Lucas. <laughs> just I like, like a, I like how you just kept your own name. <laughs> I'm like a suit, but like Colonel five Wendy but McDonald. That for you. Look at that. We've got um, yeah. Lots of things happening here. He's got a goatee because I have a goatee. Oh, yeah, just like the Colonel. Yeah. But you're not the Colonel, you're I'm Frank one and of Lucas. Me the Lucas, Colonel. you're weirding me out. Remember to Ooh. sign up as a third degree member of the Mythical Society by January 31st, 2020 to receive this collectible stereoscopic viewer. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Yeah, you know what time it is. My name's John. And I'm Kate. And we're in Hanoi, Vietnam, about to eat some McDonald's fried chicken. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. When in Hanoi? That's McDonald's. Weird. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us match the toys at the fast food chain and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Embark on a cinematic journey of visual discovery of 80s movies Link hasn't seen. Coming soon to all third degree Mythical Society members. Join by January 31st.